Good afternoon. I want to get this video done before it rains. Here is a, another beautiful clematis or clematis. Uh, this is on the fence going into the right side of the house where the chimney side is. But it, you can't see them good because they're turned upward, but they are really pretty. There's the dianthus we planted. And some of the irises are blooming on this side. I love this deep purple. And back there, that other little purple flower in the very back there and right here under the iris leaves, that's Montana Blue. And see, there's going to be a lot more irises. And look at this clematis. It is went all the way over onto the crepe myrtle. I believe that one is Montana Rubens. We have one on the driveway side, which I'll show you in just a little while. I'll get up closer so you can see the beautiful blooms. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? And it's just reaching for the skies. The Dutzias are in bloom. I told you all about those. I think when we came through, they just had the buds open, but look at them. They're just gorgeous. We have the light leaf Dutzia, and we have the one that has a darker leaf, but they're just wonderful. These hostas we just planted last year around this tree, and they're doing beautifully. Actually, some of them we could divide if we wanted to. And right here is a volunteer Japanese painted fern. More Japanese painted ferns down through there. And there's a big ghost the light green one, that's like the one I planted the other day that I showed you yesterday. And here is a massive patch of Bleeding Heart. Those are the two pots we bought on Bargain at Home Depot. Can't remember now what the price were, but they were huge pots. Really cheap. And I love Bleeding Heart. And there's the fern leaf bleeding heart. They reseed everywhere, but I love them, so I just leave them unless they're in the way of something else. Here's where I divided that monster hosta, and it's still going to be really big. And that, in fact, it's going to creep over on my um, lemony lime elderberry or lemony lace, excuse me. Haven't finished decorating out here or planting all the pots for out here. This is another Dutzia right here. And that little bitty kind of yellowish green bush, that is uh, the Euonymus that was in one of my fairy gardens. It outgrew its fairy garden pot, so I had to put it in the ground. And just look at that soft, beautiful leaves on that Japanese maple. This clematis will be blooming soon. And look at the ostrich ferns. John says they're going to eat you when you go by. They're so big. We have given pieces of that to many people. Most of the things in this bed won't be blooming for a while. There's Lamian dead nettle. That's that little variegated leaf. And there's uh, lots more Japanese painted fern. There's some spiderwort there, the tall plant in the back. That'll bloom later. 
that little ferny plant with the gala flower that's corydalus. Lots of hellebores and more of the fern leaf leading heart. I tell you this woodland flock, when you plant that, you really get a big bang for your buck because the blooms last forever. It's a really early bloomer and you can see the blooms are still going strong. These bricks right here that I edged this bed with, those were from an old trolley track in downtown Roanoke in our hometown. And I just pieced them in there to kind of edge that bed with. More of the little beautiful corydalus. There's a clematis on this uh, gate too. It'll be blooming sooner or later. More different types of fern over there and it's lots of daylilies and uh, I think there's some cone flowers over there too. I'm gonna go up this side because I want you to see how pretty these azaleas are. There's a Russell Lupin that we just planted. We went back up to our Lowe's this afternoon and they've let, let most of those Russell Lupins die from no water. and It just makes me so upset. There's another one of those beautiful Montana Reuben, I believe that's what that is, Clematis. They just get covered with blooms. And then there on that arbor that John built, uh, there's another one that'll bloom a little later. And in this bed, there are some uh, lilies, uh, different types of lilies, and there's some coneflowers, and I believe some black-eyed Susies too. See how pretty the azaleas are. And look at the big snowball bush, Japanese snowball bush. This is the most blooms it's ever had on it. Then that's a little viburnum below it with a small white bloom. And beautiful azaleas. This uh, pretty plant right here, that's between the two flocks, that's a Carolina lupins, and it'll have a beautiful yellow bloom on it. Uh, it does tend to spread, so you have to pull it up when it goes places you don't want, but it's so pretty that I, I like keeping some of it. And there's a lot more of the Lamian dead nettle ground cover. And over here are some of the pots that I've already planted. These three pots have a series of coleus. Uh, I had them last year and the year before. It's called the Under the Sea series. And they just do beautifully. I know some of you will remember how big my pots of them got last year. And that I just broke pieces off the top when I got too big and just stuck them in the dirt and they root themselves. Just beautiful. I love them. Okay, that's all for this video. I'm going to do all my other pots in another video. I don't want the video to be too long. I hope you're having a great day. Till the next time, thank you so much for watching.